Let me read some stats for you, if I could, Francis. So far, the Trump administration has ordered $2.7 billion in funding cuts, the elimination of 1,200 jobs, which has resulted in the termination of nearly 800 research projects for the NIH. But in addition to that, as you explained the grant process and how most of the budget goes to research universities, Johns Hopkins lost at least $800 million in federal grants, prompting the institution to terminate 2,000 members of the staff. Cornell, meanwhile, lost $1 billion. So it's been a bloodbath, not only at the NIH itself, but at all these institutions. So what is the impact of all these cuts, not only the, the funding, but also the loss of jobs? It's been very significant. There's no precedent for this kind of really dramatic uh, set of changes in such a short period of time. I mean, I've been at NIH for 32 years, or I was until March 1st, and I've been through transitions between administrations, and there were always some bumpy periods there as the new team coming to town had their ideas about things they wanted to change, but nothing that even comes close uh, to this approach. As part of the effort to cut the government uh, workforce, the numbers that you mentioned, 12 1,200 people uh, basically at NIH being set loose. And even before that, uh, there was a basically effort to let all the people go who had been at NIH less than a year. That was 1,165 people that got an email on Valentine's Day to say their services were no longer needed. That was particularly hard because those were the people who had just arrived, many of them with new ideas and new technologies. They were going to be a lot of the future promise of the institution. And without any individual considerations about their contributions, they were let go. It's particularly hard to see the the 800 grants that you mentioned that were already funded, and some of these already underway for a year or two, uh, being terminated in mid-course so that the work that was underway is potentially lost. Some of those even involve clinical trials that had patients that were signed up involved in a trial that might mean they were being tested on an experimental drug or a device, and then being left in the middle of that without any clear indication about what had been learned or how they were going to be taken care of. That sort of thing is on unprecedented. I think in the past, NIH might have in a given year found it necessary to terminate a half dozen grants for the entire enterprise, usually because of an investigator who died or there was some other really serious problem with the project. But now to have this happen uh, to some 800 grants across many different areas, although particularly targeted in things like DEI, is, is really sending quite a difficult message uh, to people trying to do this work. 